hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna be doing a fun summertime yellow eyeshadow look i was actually very inspired by the sunglasses that i found at ross they scream summer they scream fun so i just want to create something fun for you guys and really not that hard to do oh my god look at this so apparently wet and wild and pac-man created a whole limited edition launch so this is the only brush that i was able to get my hands on i don't know if they came out with more brushes i honestly didn't even know that they were doing a collab like what 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 i went to walgreens to buy like one thing and they had this entire display i took a picture so i'll insert the picture in the video i think they have an eyeshadow palette um everything was sold out for the most part at my walgreens but if you guys are able to get your hands on any of the items please do because they're freaking it's it's iconic like what this is a powder brush i'm trying to open it but when i saw this brush i was like i have to do i absolutely i bought the sunglasses but finding this brush was a confirmation that i needed to do a yellow look for today's video like how freaking how freaking perfect is this and then it's got like it's got the little floaty glitter oh actually that's not all of it let me get the rest of the stuff WTF how cool am I right now freaking yellow vibes so I've never tasted uh, the yellow Red Bull I'm about to taste taste test it right now please let it be good please let it be good who lives in a pineapple under the sea spongebob square pants all right enough talking let's get into the video um this is going to only be an eye look so i'm gonna go ahead and zoom into my eyes right now okay so i'm gonna start by priming my eyelids of course i'm using my milani eyeshadow primer and i kind of just use my fingers to do this you can use a brush um but I find that it's easier to apply with my fingers. I'm kind of upset that I haven't put out a video in a little bit. I know my last video, I was like, I'm back, I'm excited, let's get it, let's do this, was popping, and then I kind of fell off. All right, so my eyelids are primed. I'm gonna be going in with my wet and wild blending brush i'm gonna be picking up the take me back to brazil eyeshadow palette and i'm gonna be going in with that yellow shadow in the palette this one right here when you're playing with colors this bright you obviously do want them to be visible you don't want them to like blend into your skin so You'll probably need to pack the color on for a good while. That looks so pretty, but I do want it to pop out a lot more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep packing some more color on. All right, so now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be mixing this yellow right here and this yellow. So this is the first uh, color that I started to go in with. This one is a little darker um, so I'm just gonna use this to add some definition to my lids. Well, I'm gonna use both of them to add some definition to my lids. So I'm picking up both of these colors with that same brush. I'm just kind of dipping back and forth in between both of them. And I'm just gonna pretty much keep the color down in this area. Oh, 
people i switched brushes over to this elf uh it doesn't really have a name but it's just like a flat blending brush just because things were getting a little messy with that uh blending brush i'm just kind of packing that on i'm not blending i'm not doing it in blending motions i'm just packing it on go ahead and do this one real quick i'll be right back all right so now i'm just gonna clean up around my eyes with a uh, makeup remover wipe and i'm not too worried about making it perfect right now because once i start adding my foundation and my concealer i will have um a few more chances to fix things all right so next i'm going to go in with this nyx vivid brights eyeliner in the color vivid halo um i was debating whether or not i wanted to do it but i think it would look really pretty to add some yellow eyeliner on top of this yellow eyeshadow because you just you can't have too much yellow like nope we need more I think so my only problem with this eyeliner I just remembered why I don't like to use them that often um they start to really crack like when when they start to dry it starts to crack did my very best um i have such a hard time with eyeliner and i think i've said this in previous videos but i just i i struggle with making them even and i know 100 percent i'm not the only person but i just i like i hate that i struggle with this this far into the makeup game but it's all right you can only get better at something you do every day so that means I need to start doing my eyeliner every day because I really, that's part of the problem. I just, I don't do eyeliner that often. So I don't give myself enough time. I don't give myself enough practice. Really love the way this looks right now. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera and I'll be right back. All right. So I did the rest of my face off camera. Um, So see what I'm talking about? The eyeliner is like starting to crack. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a second layer on top of that. And hopefully that solves the problem. And it's not like, it's not like I've had this eyeliner for a long time and it's just like old. Um, I remember the, the very first time I used it, it actually did the same thing and my green one does the exact same thing as well um i think i've only used i know i've only used the green one once and that was when i did like the green uh half skull halloween makeup look um that's actually not on youtube i had not started youtube yet but check that look out on my ig i'll leave my um I'll put my IG uh, username up on the up on the screen right here. The struggles. I'm going in with this Mega Wear Wet n Wild mascara, and normally I would curl my eyelashes, but. I still have some of that wet eyeliner on there, so I don't want to mess with that right now. We don't want that smoke right now. So, speaking of Nicole Guerrero, so these are the eyelashes that I'm going to be using for this look. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this eye look. I absolutely love how it came out. Um, make sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And let me know if there's anything that you would like to see from me in the future. Make sure to like this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.